and welcome back to Pro Plans YouTube channel. This is the second video of steps to increase your website traffic. Uh, what we're going to be doing here is just going over some SEO tips uh, or steps. And uh, during those steps, I'm going to explain some really good tips for everyone so you guys can get a good idea on um, exactly how to do these steps. Okay, um, we left off at step nine. Um, and this step is don't write good content, write great content. And the reason why we say that is because um, Google is the top dog, okay? They only represent uh, on their first page uh, great websites. They don't represent good websites, they represent great websites. Google is, um, well, we all work for Google in a way. And um, Google's only going to put you on the first page if your website looks good, if your website's content's good, if it's being shown that it's good, if you have good credibility uh, with trust authority, um, you know. So you really want to make sure that your content is good. It's, it's, um, I know it's easier said than done, of course, but um, you know this separates good from the bad when it comes to search engines. Uh, your content needs to be relevant, engaging, timely, sticky, um, if you read it, um, you know, you should be able to share it with your friends, all that. Uh, so that, that plays a big factor. Okay, step 10. With your articles, you need to focus on keywords and phrases. Not a bunch, but you need to make sure that you're using your keyword phrases in your articles. Your first two paragraphs are going to play a big role in this. So what I normally do is um, I'll write 10 articles for 10 keywords. But in those 10 articles, I will take three keywords for each article and I'll use them. I'll use all my keywords, but I'll use those three keywords mainly for each article. And what this does is it shows Google that you're not, you're not stuffing keywords, um, but, but you definitely have a force to be reckoned with when it comes to those keywords. All right, uh, next step. Keep your content fresh and updated. I cannot stress this enough. Uh, really, th this is this is vitally important. Um, you must keep fresh content, um, and, and if that means that you need to, uh, you know, he here's a little tip. Okay, you don't always have to write a new blog post. You can also change the dates on them. Okay, and that that really does work. If you take a post off the air for just a few minutes and then you repost it, you are, uh, in a sense, reposting that post. Um, and that's fresh content. So, and now, I'm not telling you to do this uh, to trick Google, but I also understand how hard it is to keep writing consistently good articles. Um, it, it, it's, it's hard to do. It's hard to keep up with. So, that's a little trick um, that you might want to use several times a week uh, to stay fresh. Um, and let me tell you, if you have... Uh, done the steps we've talked about so far and you are continuously updating your content and you have fresh content that means every day I can guarantee you will have first uh, first page results for every keyword because that is what Google's about and not very many um, SEO agents do this they focus more on other means of getting rank and um, if you focus on keeping with updated content you're gonna be number one um, all right, so, you know, uh, another step is understand social media's role in SEO. Make sure your sites are search friendly. That means buttons, auto links, uh, whatever else way you can make it easy for someone to post your article on Twitter, Facebook, and G+. Um, you know, people don't want to jump through hoops to share something. They want it to be easy. Uh, we talked about this in step uh, six that you need to make sure there are like buttons, share buttons, and all that. Um, the reason why is when Google uh, has a website that does not have these share buttons and it has a website that has these share buttons, what it really shows to Google is that these people like these articles or this content enough to share it. Versus the website that you cannot share the content, um, it, it basically stands out that makes this website over here the great website and makes this the good website. And the reason, even though this good website might even be better than this great website, 
Google doesn't know that because Google can't tell the difference because your traffic is not engaging in your website as much as they could be. Engagement with your, uh, with your traffic is a really big deal to Google. It lets Google know things about your website that they could not know otherwise. So make sure that you have um, good engagement with your, your clients' uh, social media networks. You want to let them be able to update posts. Um, something you might want to try doing is making a news feed and put interesting facts on there. Everybody loves interesting facts. And even if your website's not about that, um, it, it does take away from you know your main purpose of your website, but it also um, it, it evens out because what it does is people will share those posts because um, you know they're interesting, they're fun facts, you know, and fun facts are all over the internet. They're easy to find, and it keeps fresh content on your website. So that's a good little tip for you. Um, you know, you, you you may want to try that. All right. Uh, have a site map on your website. Very easy to add, and don't forget to keep it up to date. Um, a site map. If you have WordPress, um, you know you, you can find a site map very easy. Uh, you know, once you build the site map, make sure it's staying updated. Um, and you know, it does have auto update. Okay, but uh, I recommend going in about every three days and updating it yourself because this really. Um, it forces everything to get updated. Alright, so um, next step. Use captions and descriptions for images and graphics. Again, another great place to add in keywords uh, is that image description. And you need to take advantage of every piece of real estate on your page. This is very important. Um, people don't realize how much Google uses images uh, to, to grade your website. and you know, let me let me tell you another thing is, Google has the thing the the Google Images, and did you know if you type in the name of your website, it'll show you every single image on your website, and so adding that key those keywords in your image is really going to hold a lot of weight with Google. Um, so so make sure that you're doing that. That's that's a big part of SEO is making sure that you have good descriptions, good captions, um, and you know with keywords in them. So take advantage of every piece of real estate on your page. Um, all right, step step fifteen: exploit your website's title tag characters by including your top keywords. Um, you know, don't leave any characters behind. Make sure your keywords are all over your website. Make sure all your title tags are used. Make sure all your headers are used. Um, oops, screensaver. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let me let us on the new website. Okay, so um, here's another one. If you hire out your content writing, make sure that it's original and not copied. 2011 Panda Report says that 50% of your content must be unique. That's a big part. Um, you, you, you must make sure your content is unique, folks. Uh, Google wants new content. They, they, they want to make sure that uh, the content is updated. And if content is duplicated and copied, a lot of times it becomes old because it's copied from a website three years ago originally and then is copied then on every time. And then, um, you know, three years later, it still looks like new content because po people are duplicating it and posting as new content and it isn't new content. So, therefore, when the users go to the website, they get old content, and that's never good. Uh, that, that can waste a lot of time by people, uh, you know, doing that, and, and it's not good. So, okay. Next to keywords are links and tags are the most important SEO tools. Make them as descriptive as possible. So, just like images, this is a great place to add keywords. Um, and, 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 you know, it really is. So, make sure that... Um, links and tags are uh, descriptive as possible. Okay. Step 18. Link only to uh, reputable and popular sites that are relevant to you and your customers. This is important. Um, remember how I told you that you must share the traffic that comes on your website. It is vitally important to do this. It is vitally important to when you have a page to make sure that you have recommendations. 
Um, well, I just noticed a mess up on my page. You see how it says read more? I should have used a key word there because it is very important to do that because you're wasting a key word slot. So um, make sure that you do that. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so basically the last two steps uh, is design your website to include links that duplicate your drop-down menus. Make all links and navigation, navigational consistent and keyword friendly. Step 20, make sure that your website is properly maintained, doesn't crash, and loads quickly. Speed is one of the new benchmarks that Google uses to rank, uh, to rank pages. Do everything you can to make your site load fast and avoid server crashes when traffic waves uh, hit. Um, all this stuff can be found on bestseosoftwarereviews.com. Uh, the, the page I'm reading this off is, is SEO Optimization, 20 Amazing SEO Tips. Uh, a very uh, highly recommended website and has good content. Um, I just want to finish this video up in uh, a couple good tips. Uh, okay. So, uh, an important part of a website is to make sure that you use all, um, you know, use all your tools. Make sure you have a blog that um, has posts on it that have keywords. Make sure that you're using images on your website with descriptions that are full of keywords. Make sure that you're using videos also. That's becoming a new big role. Um, videos are playing a big, big role in SEO nowadays. So, uh, make sure that you have videos. Make sure that your website's uh, pages are all keywords. Make sure that the links are being used, uh, you know, with keywords. Um, so those are some really good tips. Um, if you guys want to check out the new website, it's called HowToGoogleRanking.com. Um, I know this video wasn't as good as all the other ones, and that's just because I wanted to finish up the last video, the last steps. Um, you can expect a new video every day this week, so you guys are going to have some really good material. The next videos that are coming up are going to be more detailed. They're going to be more focused on one individual tip. Um, the, the reason why I did this is, is, is an introduction to this training course. Um, and once the training course is finished, if you follow these videos you know, one by one by one, you're going to get a good learning experience and you're going to get the most out of it. Um, you know, if you're taking notes, then what you have in front of you is a page with 20 good notes on it, uh, 20 good steps. And then the videos that you watch after, um, as long as you're leaving space to put more stuff in about these tips, you're actually going to get information on each individual tip that's very detailed. Um, that makes for a good training course and, you know, very, very, uh, you know, you're going to get the most out of it, so... All right, here's ProPlans.org. Check us out. Give us a G, a G plus, you guys. We're, we're really lacking in that. Uh, we just added it four days ago, and uh, we, we really haven't been getting very many. So um, we'd appreciate it if you, if you G plus us. We really would. All right, um, folks, make sure that you are using um, the, uh, share, op the um, share stuff because if you look down here, you notice how I got all mine, Facebook, Twitter, G plus, dig, all that stuff. Uh, make sure customers can share that stuff. So, all right, that wraps it up for this video. Thank you for joining us. Uh, give us a like. If you like anything on this website, please like the video. Uh, that shows support. Remember, all these videos are free, um, and they're all going to be free. The content is. Uh, we do this to provide proper SEO to people. Uh, black hat SEO agents are kind of starting to ruin it for everybody. Um, you know, as far as using just on the border SEO stuff that isn't hurting anyone, um, it's okay to use, but the stuff that is, um, really hurting us, um, I'm trying to put a stop to. I'm trying to let everybody know that, uh, there are ways to get ranked without this stuff. It just takes a day or two longer, but it's, it's, it's better in the end, I promise. So thanks again for joining us. Check out www.proplans.org and www.howtogoogleranking.com. Great websites 
We appreciate it, and have a great day, everyone. Don't forget to uh, subscribe also.